Floss Tube friends. It's time for another episode. Hi everybody and welcome to another Fun Friday Floss Tube Weekly Update with me. I am Annie Joyfield Stitcher both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? It is July. It is Friday, July the 2nd and this is Floss Tube number 111 and I Floss tube. You may be saying, if you're new to this community, what is that? It's kind of what us stitchers call our YouTube podcasts, our YouTube videos. I chat about cross stitch during certain times of the year. I talk about knitting and or other crafty endeavors. I throw in a little bit of my life here and there. Uh, I show you what I've stitched on. I talk about anything that's come in the mail, anything new and interesting and different in my world. And so that's kind of what you get. So welcome to anybody who might be new and joining since my last Friday update, which was last week. If you are new, I appreciate you hanging in here and seeing if you like what I, I show, what I work on. Know that I have a lot of whips, so what you see this week may not be what you see next week. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Um, If you are returning... Thank you so much for hanging out with me yet again. Some of you have been with me through 111 11 plus videos. And for that, I am so grateful and so thankful for you. Um, I was holding something in my lap because we're going to do a little bit of a different start. Um, but I need to give my hug. So on this channel, in this space, each week we do some virtual hugs. I started this a while ago. It's caught on with a lot of you. Some people just are like, nope, it's not for me, and that's totally cool. So we're going to do a hug on this side, a hug on this side, and we hug ourselves. And it just starts this weekend off great. So we come in for a hug on this side, mm -hmm. and then we hug on this side, mm -hmm. and then we hug. Mm -hmm. Biggest hugs for ourselves. So where I wanted to start with is, is July is kind of an interesting month. I know there's a lot of Jolly Julys going on, um, lots of Christmas and winter themed stitching this month, which I do have some of because a lot of my projects, okay, not a lot of projects, but I have a significant number of projects, I think maybe five, that I started last year and are not finished yet, have not finished yet, and so they are going to get worked on on their birthday. My uh, project that I'm going to work on every day this month is also a Christmas somewhat themed project. So there's a lot of jolliness going on this month. I know there's other, um, I'm trying to think if there's any other kind of themes this month. I'm not entirely certain. I know some people stitch on some patriotic stitching. Some people stitch on summer stitching. Some people are ramping up for Halloween or working on their kind of fall and Halloween stitching. I am working on a whole host of things this month. But one thing is for certain, I have two, not one, but two uh, mystery advent kind of boxes to open this month. They are both roughly 14 days. One is knitting themed and one is cross stitch theme. So I'm going to share with you what I opened yesterday and today. I actually both opened both of them this morning because I forgot yesterday that it was in my office, craft room office, my craft office, which is right across the hall from Joyfield Little One. And she's had a long week of awesome camp this week and I she was already asleep and I did not want to wake her up with the super squeaky old door that goes into my craft office. So a little bit more on life update, but I wanted to show you. So the first... So I have, let's start with the stitchy one. So the stitchy one is put together by, I'm looking to see what's stitching and what's knitting um, without showing you anything yet. Actually, I'm going to show you knitting first because it's on this side. So my Bridgerton, they're both Bridgerton themed. Did I not say that? Did I not say that? I don't think I did. So, dear readers, um, they are both Bridgerton themed. And it just so happened that a couple of companies decided to do these. So I'm like, yes! And Bridgerton, if you have not watched it, it's a great series on Netflix. It is a little like adult-ish. Um, it's a little like Pride and Prejudice meets Fifty Shades of Grey-ish. Like not in like the realm 
But, anywho, that being said, don't watch it with your child. It's, it's not that kind of period. Yes, period type piece. Sorry. Tangent. Bring it went that way. So, anywho, Forbidden Fiber Company, Forbidden Fiber Co., run by the incredible Leanne. She has been dying yarn for a while. I love her yarn. She's gone down now the rabbit hole of cross stitch, which I love. She has a fantastic floss tube series herself. And she <laughs> put out a, I'm trying to figure out where do the things overlap because I put them all in one box because my box had Bridgerton on it and I thought it was so cute. So I'm pulling out the things that are, yeah, so anyhow. Sorry, I got distracted. So, let's see. We got, we have our little paper with the card that has everything in it. We got some raspberry tea cookies, which Joyfield Little One and I have sampled already. We got some floss jewelry with the B, which is a reoccurring kind of symbol throughout the show. Beautiful needle minder, which is a Regency style cameo, which I love. We got some lavender cuticle cream that is from the Forbidden Fiber Co.'s Essentials line. So it's essential oils. Gorgeous piece of, I chose the Ada. So this is 14 count Ada from Forbidden Fiber Co. in Parliament, which is a beautiful pinky petally color. And we got a cross stitch chart. Now, I will say, I am not going to stitch the entirety of the chart, but I love the, the saying on here. So I am going to stitch that. And it says, just because something is not perfect does not make it less worthy of love. And it is stitched in her beautiful flosses. Y'all know I love Forbidden Fiber Co.'s flosses. I am part of her um, floss, just flossing club, which is our floss of the month club. And so I was super pumped to see that I was not only getting floss from her, but also getting, I'm looking, making sure I didn't, haven't dropped anything or placed anything in a weird location. So we've gotten two flosses so far. So spoilers if you have not opened this. The first one is Viscount. And so far, um, we've been given two of both of these colors because she said she didn't want us to run out. So this is Viscount which is a beautiful rusty red. So that was day one. And it had a little note in it about Viscount. And then we have today's, so that was yesterday's, today's is Masquerade, which is a beautiful green. And she gives DMC equivalents to these. So the first one was DMC equivalent, I think 918, and this one is DMC 500. So I will continue to open these one a day. And then next week, I'll just quickly run down the flosses for you. So then my other one is from Fangirl Fibers. So Fangirl Fibers is a fantastic uh, hand-dyed. She also does knitting accoutrement. And so she, in her Bridgerton box, has some stitch markers with different Bridgerton things. So like, the social season is upon us. Love conquers all. Flawless, my dear. We should tempt scandal more often. And then you have one with the Duke. So yeah, I thought those were way cool. A little package of soak, which is great for when you block out your pieces. Um, a code to go on, and I have not done this yet, on Ravelry to get the shawl pattern. Or the wrap, excuse me, the Lady Whistle Down wrap off of Ravelry. Got a lotion bar, a lilac lotion bar from Archie's Acres, which smells incredible. It kind of is stuck in the lid. Um, I think it got hot in transit, but it smells so good. So, lotion bar. Um, we got a Laughing Forest strawberry lemon basil lollipop. And I've now opened two days worth of yarn. The first day was a full is a full skein and then a mini skein. So this is day one. And it came with a thing from Lady Whistledown herself, a letter. So this is all happening in the first two weeks of July 1813. And is this not absolutely incredible? I love the speckling. It's beautiful, gorgeous insanely gorgeous 
And this was my mini skein from today, which I think is also very beautiful. So I'm super pumped to continue to open these. It's going to be hard for me to like restrain myself from opening more than just the day of. I kind of spoiled myself by not opening yesterday that I got to open more today. But we've spent enough on that. So let's get into what I worked on. So most of you know that for the month of June, or for the majority of the month of June, I have been working on Ink Circles Rosetta for 25 minutes a day. It is 25-7, which is a fantastic idea that I heard about from Michelle Bindi Stitchy. And wouldn't you know it, that one of you awesome folks shared with me who the actual person behind the idea is. And now I can't remember. This is what happens when you age, I have learned. Is like you have something right there and then it's like, gone 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 so now I'm thinking well can I look back and see but there were so many amazing comments on the last video about Potter that I don't think I can find it so my apologies I will have it next time I promise so anywho I am stitching this on 20 count opalescent Ada in snurt from Mystic Fabrics in a slew of gorgeous jewel toned flosses from Gentle Arts. So when I showed it last week, I had just finished this top row and was moving and had, I think, just started this bottom, this next row, the middle row. And so I am working in corn husk. I have over half of this medallion. Um, and so, yeah, I, but I don't want to get burnt out on this. I love this project. It's coming up on its two-year birthday. It had a very long hiatus, but I am super pumped to be back to it. But I want to focus on something else this month. Uh, the Needle Minder was a gift from Tracy Horner. I am a patron of hers. Um, her Patreon is 100% worth the, I think it's $10 a month that I spend. Um, charts, behind the scenes, goodie packages every now and again. It's totally worth it. So... That was where I got to by the end of June. So I am going to be working on a different project for 25-7 this month. And that is my 12 Days of Christmas. This is by Satsuma Street. And I think it is adorable. So I started my 25 minutes yesterday. I had already prior to this finished the Partridge and Pear Tree. And I was nearly complete with the two turtle doves. So Last night, in my 25 minutes, I finished, I had a whole lot of block stitching in this, like, all one color in this middle section, and I worked on that and finished it up in the 25 minutes, and today I've worked a tiny bit um, in putting in the border for the, third, the three French hens. So let me show you, and this is in a bag that Mandy made for me and sent to me. It's fantastic. So when I started this series back in December of 2019, I started on 36 count, uh, 36 count uh, white Edinburgh linen. So that is what I did the first one on. I don't hate it, but I knew I did not want to stitch the whole series on it. I love my Ada. I do. I love linen. I do still have a few projects on linen. I do love even weave, but Ada is like my go-to. It is my go-to. So it still has hoop marks, but I did finish off the two turtle doves. So I love it. And this is just on 18 count white Ada from Wichelt. So there is a little bit in the way of opacity difference. But when I finish them, I don't think it's going to make a big difference. Because they're not going to be up right next to each other. And I have, um, I am stitching it with two strands of the DMC called Fork. So let me show you what I have so far on the border of the, the three French hens, which is actually one French hen with the number three on it. But that's what I have. As you can see, I've done my half crosses all the way to this point, marking every 10 with a full cross. That makes it easy to count. I actually worked on this a bit. My mom was at the car dealership earlier today looking to purchase a new car, and she does not know how to buy a car. I bought like three by myself. So I, I offered to go. So while we were in the waiting parts, I uh, was stitching on that a little bit. I kind of
kind of made a joke that any time that I would pull it out, somebody would come back in. And so when we got real perturbed with waiting, I pulled it out. And then somebody came back in. Anywho, so I had a couple, maybe two new starts this week. I'm not sure. I'm going to say two. It might not be two. New starts this week. The first of which is a Patreon exclusive gift chart from Michelle Bendistici. I am, I do patronize her. Um, and this just caught my eye. So she has come off of a long uh, vacation with her family, much needed, much deserved. And so her gift chart is called Utah Blossom. I'm not going to, this is her image. I'm going to just show it to you like this because you could actually stitch from this and I don't want you to. I want you to go be a patron of hers so you can get it. But this is what it's based off of, which is this beautiful, like, jeweled piece from a museum that she visited when she was in Utah. Um, she doesn't really, she didn't take a picture of the placard, so she doesn't know the provenance of it. Is that how you say provenance of it? But she made mention in her post that she thought it'd be cool to stitch some of it in Diamante. Or Diamant, Diamant, Diamant by DMC. So I'm like, you say diamant, I'm going to do it all. So it calls for four colors, and I'm doing four colors of beautiful DMC diamant, diamant, I don't know. It's probably wrong how I'm saying. Diamante is how I would say. So we've got the red, the black, this emerald green, and then this is what they call rose gold. And this is on an 18 count random piece of beautiful neutral from Color and Cotton. And I kind of bounced around so I could try stitching in some of each color. It is so sparkly. I love it. I will say, I have stitched with Krynik. I have stitched with Petite Treasure Braid. And I have stitched with DMC and Twelve. Krynik is the devil's floss. If you love it, that's cool. I consider it the devil's floss. I could not stand it. Petite, Petite Treasure Braid's a little bit better. And Twelve is easy because it's just cotton with a little filament in it. This, I would say, is in between Petite Treasure Braid and Etoile. It's a little fussy. You kind of still have to use some shorter lengths, but it's plied, which I think is really interesting. So it's actually three pieces twisted, but it's easy to ply apart. I am using just as it comes off the spool on my 18 count, and it's perfect. So I would say that if you're going to go to a higher count than that, you could probably ply it. I don't know. I'm not like a like super pro on it, but I think it's super cool. All right, so I worked a little bit more, and that is in my plans to spend some more time on. Um, I did work some more on my sea dandelion. This is a chart that was in Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine, summer 2021. So just this issue that came out. It's by my favorite girl, favorite lady, favorite designer, Barbara Anna. And I think it's fantastic. I am stitching this on 16 count chalkboard Ada. Uh, I did a bit of color converting because I didn't have all the DMCs. So I went close. And I might be fully obsessed with this color. This is color in Cotton Caribbean. If you can see, it's like a... It's kind of like if you mixed 3846 like in that theme within a bright turquoise so it's so cool so I actually did quite a bit I put in some of this gold detailing of like her mirror and the moon and this is the uh like light from the lighthouse and then I did her hair I did this top part is in color and cotton Belize and then look at the variegation in that that is the um Caribbean color and cotton Caribbean so it's super fun to work on um, I would say I would love to get some more. It's just, just a fun stitch. It's bright. It's colorful. And this is in a bag that the hoop does not fit in. But this is a bag by Wendy. It's a real small little petite one. And I love it. Alright, this is another new start. I've seen some folks starting this. You know me. I love me some quirky Quakers. So this is Darling and Whimsy Designs. This is her quirky, quirky Quakers Mythical Creatures. Say that five times fast. Quirky Quaker Mythical Creatures. I'm not even trying because something bad might come out of my mouth. It is a series of three charts. This one actually comes with a bonus uh, with a color charting to chart it as a Yeti. So I'm stitching all four in a row. So I'm working Bigfoot or Sasquatch, Unicorn, Loch Ness, Nessie, 
and then the Yeti on the end. And I am doing them all on an 18 count Ada from Color and Cotton. There's a raining theme here, Color and Cotton. Um, this is in Stormy, no, Snowy Sky. And so I have worked on Mr. Bigfoot and I will tell you, I am pulling out some pretty awesome flosses for this. So I have fantastic flosses from Forbidden Fiber that I am using and from Mystical Diamond Arts. Um, I am a rep for Mystical Diamond Arts. Uh, I did wanna share that Amy, who is the proprietor, has um, had some things going on in her personal life. She doesn't feel comfortable sharing, but she will say that the Floss Club is going to be back in the fall. So, um, and it's a great deal and they're awesome. So the big one I wanna share with you on this one is the one I did for the border. I haven't finished filling him in, but he's almost finished. Um, this is Forbidden Fiber Coast Field of Dreams. The other colors I've used are Forbidden Fiber Cloves, Mystical Diamond Arts Grage is what his face is, and then Mystical Diamond Arts Algae is the greenery. And I just think it's turning out so cute. Can I give you a preview of the Unicorns frame? It is in Forbidden Fiber Co's Rio. Yeah, that's a must, a must, a must. So I can't wait to spend some more time on this. It's, uh, it, there's so much fun to stitch, so much fun to stitch. So hopefully next week you will see Bigfoot finished and the Unicorn in progress and or finished. We shall see. All right, what else do I have to show you? Let's see. That's not started. That's getting started. I'll share this with plans. I don't know that I did any more on Little Women. Nope, I haven't done any more on that. What is in here? I don't, oh yes, I do want to show you this, but it is on the Q-Snap, so let me take it off real quick. So last week, I was talking about how with my flea market flowers, I my goal was to get all of the frames stitched. All the brown frame. And then to start working on some of the greenery and getting the greenery in place. So the framing is all stitched. And as you can see, I've started working on the greenery here. I kind of, um, I had a couple of days that I was kind of like, meh, about stitching. Um but I did pull like this out. It was real easy to just pull out and work on the borders. So I am significantly behind and that is okay. I've resigned myself to the fact I'm clearly not gonna finish it on time. So why am I gonna push myself at this point? Um, that needs to go back in that folder. So I think that is, yep, that is all I have stitched on. So let me talk a tiny bit about plans. So plans, 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 plans. Let me see what else is in the plans. I don't know that, I think that's it. Okay, 12 days of Christmas Satsuma, every day 25 seven throughout this month. Um, projects with birthdays coming up. I don't have one until the fourth. So on the fourth, I have one with a birthday. It's Cranberry Christmas by Hands On Design. I'm stitching that one in the Sulky Pack. Let's see. I've got some other ones coming up too, which is awesome. Um, I want to work, I'm gonna continue to work on flea market flowers on the greenery. I am gonna continue to work on mythical creatures. So basically like the only one that I for sure will work on every single day is that Suma Street for 25 minutes. And then I'm just, I keep them in my little bucket and I pull what makes me feel good about stitching it that day. I am going to start tomorrow. Since I already have a project with a birthday on the 4th, I'm just starting this one tomorrow and I'm gonna do Stitchy Stars. I am stitching mine in two rows of three. Um, I just wanted to do that orientation. I believe it's gonna fit on this piece right here. I think it should with, with margins, good margins. This is a 18 count mystery from Color and Cotton. And then my flosses I'm going to use are Color and Cotton Bean Cherry, Perfect Red. Um, Color and Cotton, Cotton Dark Indigo for my navy. Color and Cotton Mediterranean for that tealy turquoise. Forbidden Fiber Co's Coral, which I love. And then uh, Classic Colorworks Bamboo. So that is my color palette on this pretty fabric. So I'm excited about that. 
And then one other project that I do need to put some hustle into and get moving on is this is actually for my daughter's uh, friend and her birthday party is on July 24th. So I need to, and it is a Frida Kahlo themed party. She's a fantastic young lady. Um, yeah, I need to work on a cup of Frida. So let me show you where it is. It's even still on the hoop. So that's what I have so far. I need to get moving on it. It's not a huge piece. I can get it finished. It's on 20 count Ada. I'm sorry, my stomach is bothering me. So I'm trying to like stay focused on the task at hand here. Um, so that's kind of plans. And then coming up. So this week, little one has been in camp each day. She's doing a morning softball camp, which she has thoroughly enjoyed, which I love. I played softball, but like, I didn't think she was going to be all athletic-y about that, but she's loving it. And then in the afternoon, she does art camp, which is super fun. And she's such a fun little artist. She loves anything cartoony and they've done some cartoony type things. She's had a blast. Um, we are gearing up for summer camp, summer camp, like sleep away summer camp. She goes, um, in a week or so. And so this next week, we've got to spend some time making sure we have everything she needs. Everything is labeled with her name and put into bags and blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. We are going on a small vacation um, at the beginning of August. It will be over a Friday, so I might be missing my Friday video unless I pre-film, which I might pre-film something and put it up. We'll see. I'd like to not skip a Friday. But we are going to Louisville, Kentucky. And um, I'm fairly certain, because of how close it is, I will get to go to Keepsakes. What else are you excited about? And I'm hopeful that my my gal Steph is there on a day that, I can, that I'm able to visit. Because we have some other things planned. So, what's next? It's joy-filled stash stash time. It's joy-filled stash stash time. Tiny bit of stash stash. Obviously, you've seen my Bridgerton boxes because I showed them when they came in, but that was part of kind of the opening of them. Uh, my Sulky came from 3 Owl Threads, Nest Egg, so I got some variegated and some solids. I will say I am taking a pause on this because I've run out of room for my Sulkies so, with my storage system. So until I either use some up, yeah, until I use some up or come up with a better storage solution that doesn't cost me any more money, such is life. I did place an order for some fabric from Fat Quarter Shop because they got the gingham in 18 count. So, of course, I had to have it. So, it's the, uh, I think it's just called gray gingham. No, excuse me, pale gray gingham. They have it, I think, in an 18 and a 16 count. And the 14, which is what Flea Market Flowers is on. So I, of course, had to get that. And then I saw this, which is a 25 count Lugana in the Basalt Splash. So I thought this would be fun for a project that calls for, like, a charcoal, but then it looks like snow. You don't have to stitch the snow if it's on this, which is pretty cool. So I think both of these are a fat quarter. So I was pumped about that. And then I did not actually get to participate because I was not feeling well. Um, but this past weekend... Last Sunday was Acorns and Threads 25th birthday party, and it was a virtual birthday party. I purchased the kit and all the materials, and they came in, and they were sitting, waiting to be opened and all of that. And of course, when I found out who the designer was going to be, I knew I had to get it. And then when I saw this, I squealed. I literally squealed. I am so pumped. I don't know when I will start it, but I'm excited to start it. So this is, you might have seen it on someone, uh, someone's, um, floss tube or instagram uh because it's been all over this is by hello from liz matthews this is needle in hand so it says with needle in hand and joy in my heart i just love it i love everything about it i love the colors they're so beautiful i got it with the ada and i believe it's a color and cotton ada i don't know that for a fact it calls for 36 count bisque um, I'll have to find out because I wasn't able to be there to hear what their what they said this fabric was, but I will see. As far as I know, this will be out in 2022. So it is not an exclusive exclusive, I don't believe. Now, what I think is really cute is down here on this on this little shop, it has A and T. So you can stitch it with or without that. That's your choice. So that's all she wrote for stash. Um, Coloring Cotton opened back up their floss club very randomly. And I have been thinking as much as I use it for my color conversions, I've kind of been really gravitating towards 
my Color and Cottons, my Forbidden Fiber Co's, and now my Mystical Diamond Arts to sub in for projects that um, I wanted to hop back on. So I did. I went ahead and hopped back in. So I'm going to be getting Color and Cotton and my Forbidden Fiber Co. And then I should, starting here pretty soon, should start getting my rep um, flosses from Mystical Diamond Art. And I will share more details about her subs and stuff when they come in or when I get more details from her. So I'm super pumped for this week ahead to get some more stitching in. I'm really enjoying putting X's in projects um, and just kind of staying with kind of the same thing. You're going to see a lot of the same thing this next month, and that's okay. That's what's working for me right now. Um, I started so many things. I will say I sat down this past, I don't know if I did it before or after my video. I think it was after my video. But I sat down and pulled out every single kitted project and decided if I was going to keep or unkit. I went through every single whip. I had some whips that needed to be decided upon, like if I'm going to keep stitching them or if I need to put them on different fabric or like what the case may be. And I did that and it was awesome and it felt so good. And so I have cleared out some whips. D stash is coming. I could tentatively say it will be the week that Joyfield Little One is at camp because that will give me some time to really focus on that, but we shall see. So with that, let's do our Angel Kindness card. These are from Teresa Kogut. I highly recommend them. They are on beautiful, like super thick card. Um, and I love this one. I just randomly grabbed one today and I think it's fantastic. And it says, be generous with your gifts, do more, be more, give more, and have more. It doesn't say and have more. It just says have more. But I think that those things get to that have more. You have more, more joy, more of everything if you are also able to do the other, like give more, be more, have more. I'm sorry. It is so humid here that I'm like, I feel the humidity like rising out of me. Like I feel like I should have like humidity bubbles coming out of the back of my head. Anyhow. Oh, I hope you all have a great week ahead. I know this was another short one. They probably are going to be super short. I'm not going through tons of projects each week and I don't have much stash to share. Um, I hope you still enjoy coming and visiting with me and seeing what's been going on in my world. I know I love reading your comments and hearing how you're connecting with my videos. So please keep those coming. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out with those. I did answer a few in the comments um, this past week. So Know that if I heart your comment, it means I've, means I've read it at least once. It just means that right in that moment, I don't have time to necessarily respond back to you. But know that I love you. I'm so happy that you took the time to comment and you take the time to come back to my videos. And with that, I will say slash sing. So long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you next Friday.